This tutorial is to help you set up your Aries grade books. Um, before we begin, I'm using a uh, demonstration Aries account here to do so. Um, so after logging into your Aries, the first thing you're going to want to do is find the grade book item on the left hand menu and click it. And when you do so, uh, you'll see there's a couple of ways of doing it. Um, I recommend, especially for beginners, to start with just single ad grade book. There is a way of creating them all at one time, but even I still um, do it manually this way. So click on add grade book, and then um, uh, we're doing semester grade books. At Davidson, we're being asked to only create a fall grade book at the start. It is possible to click fall and spring, but again, Davidson teachers are being asked to just click fall. And then you scroll down, and then you're going to want to select your first period class, whatever that is. Um, you can see this has two different courses here. There's a teacher aid in this account. Um, I'm just going to click the first um, period Americas class here and just create a separate grade book for that um, and click save. There are situations where you may be teaching two different courses in one period and you'd want to create those separately. So we now have a grade book for the first period class. We can go back to the main grade book menu by clicking on dashboard here. Um, and you can also see that this page can be seen in tiles, lists, or tables. Um, I uh, personally prefer the list, doesn't really matter. We're going to go into add grade book again and repeat the process for your other classes. I'm going to click on fall again, and this time I'm going to click the second period class and click on save, go back to dashboard, add grade book, only fall semester, uh, click on my third period class, and you can repeat that until you've done that for each individual course. Um, now, there are a few other things you're going to need to do eventually. When you're in the Manage Gradebook, you're also going to need to create at least one gradebook category. Um, now, I would not go ahead and do this until you have checked in with your uh, grade level or subject team partners to find out what common agreements you have about assignment categories and if possible waiting. I do want to uh, show how to do that as well but again as a new teacher hold off on doing this until you find out what common agreements or policies you're working with in your department or grade level team. So you would go to categories here. Um, again to get to this later on you can go uh, for a particular class, go to details and then either add categories or manage the grade book and go over to categories. So you would click on a new category and um, uh, type in the first one. You can just put assignment or whatever the first one might be, um, add it and then projects whatever that is. Now the bottom one, if you do uh, manual, uh, or excuse me, automatic Google Classroom importing, um, this one will be what things default to, whatever your last one is. You can add different colors for the different categories. Um, and if your department or you do weighting of different categories, you can click on this and you need to put in categories that add up to 100 and click save. If you're not doing uh, weighted scoring, um, you would just leave that unchecked. And it is possible also to have um, categories for things that count as 0% into the grade, things you want to keep track of but not ultimately be part of the final grade. And when you are done, you can click on save and um, that uh, will take care of your categories. Um, and 
Um, lastly, we're going to hold off at the beginning on adding students, but you would go ahead when it's time to add your students. Again, in the 24-25 school year, we're holding off on adding students until later, but to do so, um, you would click on add drop students and then you would go in and you could just say in a class add all students and the students are now added. You can do that for each of your classes. But again, please in the 24-25 school year, at least at Davidson, we're going to hold off on this until probably the second week of school. All right. I hope this helps.